Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, the TV show. I want to thank Bank Hometown, our sponsor, and pleased to have with us in our second segment, Kit Hughes, who's the Associate Vice President of Intercollegiate Athletics at the College of the Holy Cross. Kit, welcome. Thanks so much. Great to be here. Well, uh, you know, Labor Day starts, and or maybe even the week or so before Labor Day, and your mm -hmm. fall sports season begins uh, full speed, and, mm -hmm. and you're in the middle of it. It is, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's a fast start every year. You know, the summer tends to uh, evaporate, you know, uh, right after the 4th of July, and then we're right into our fall season. And, in fact, as we sit here today, you know, our winter seasons have begun. Yeah. So that's, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing how quickly uh, time goes, but we're excited for it. we got a lot of good things going, and, you know, excited to uh, be here and talk a little bit about it. So maybe a little uh, update on where kind of the fall sports stand at the moment. There was the football team uh, hosted a, 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 at the annual Edward Bennett Williams Classic mm -hmm. at, at Polar Park. Uh, it was a great day. We didn't like the outcome of the game, but the team notwithstanding is doing well. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a great start for them. They have a lot of good things going on. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we, we play a tough schedule. And right. so, you know, it's, you know, all these games are competitive. The Polar Park game was a great example of that. I told people before, you know, don't get confused if it's just a novelty game in a baseball park. You know, it's going to be an incredibly competitive game. game yeah. And it was. And I uh, appreciate you being there. Yeah, you know, it's meaningful to have so many folks there. And it, uh, you know, it was a, a great day for the city. We brought in a ton of people who yeah. it was their first experience in the right. ballpark or being back in the city over a long period of time and nothing but positive comments from yeah. folks. So it, we would have loved a different outcome, but overall it was a great day. Yeah, well, I heard from a number of businesses in the canal districts talking about, you know, the crowds before and after and just mm -hmm. even during the weekend because, as you mentioned, a lot of alums came back, families, yes. et cetera, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, playing that, that team down in Cambridge, uh, bring some people into the city too so for sure yeah. absolutely and so that was a great day but we've had we've had a number of them yeah. so far you know this fall you know weather uh hasn't always been on our side you know for everybody it's been a pretty wet start to the to the fall but um you know a lot of good progress for a lot of our programs and you know excited about some of the things going on we have a you know we have a field hockey team that's on a three game winning right. streak they have a big big uh, game this friday against colgate women's soccer team that just won went to bu on the road last night bu one of the top teams in the conference got a win yeah. on the road yeah. um so a lot of these you know kind of teams t making steps that we're really excited about uh, what's going on yeah and then you mentioned you know the the winter sports uh, mm -hmm. they're already kind of at it and they, you've got some some dates not too far up right oh absolutely no so our men's ice hockey team had they opened their uh, their season on sunday night at home against Long Island they got a, n a nice win there against a, a quality opponent we welcome UConn uh, to uh, to the Hart Center this Friday night so that's a, a home hockey game uh, women's hockey was on the road they'll be coming back home and you know we just had an open house for uh, we both uh, men's and women's basketball had open practices right. last night people came in get a first chance to see our uh, those two teams and what this year's version looks like uh, get to see the new coaching staff on the men's side and you know, definitely got a sense that people are eager for the winter seasons to get going too. Yeah, and, and the, your your women's basketball team had a great season last year. New coach uh, and looking to build uh, build on that success. Yeah, Coach McGarity. I, th I think this was this last season was uh, season three for her, and yeah. she uh, you know she's really done done a fantastic job building that team. Had some staff. You know, you have success, and right. you have some staff turnover. Right, Coach Chesney knows that very well over the last couple of years. Right. And, Coach McGarity had that, had a chance to bring in a couple new faces to her coaching staff, and they've done a phenomenal job. So, you know, they continue to take steps, um, you know, but our basketball program, right, but program meaning both on the men's side and the women's side together, really in a good place right now. Yeah. And uh, I think people are going to be excited for what they see. Yeah, and on the men's side, you're looking to kind of replic replicate that success of the women's program. Mm -hmm. A new coach, uh, not unfamiliar with Massachusetts in the area, Dave Paul. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you want to? Sure. Yeah. Coach Paulson is, uh, you know, he, he had been out in Western Mass at Williams as an undergrad, yeah. as a coach and had a lot of success, knows the Patriot League from his time at Bucknell, um, but really just an incredible addition to our community. I mean, not just so much that he was a great fit. I mean, he was really added a lot to, and that's what we were looking for. So he's hit the ground running. He's done a wonderful job engaging our alumni and uh, getting, our, getting our guys out in the community, which we've been excited about. And, um, you know, recruiting like crazy I'm trying to find the yeah. next uh, you know the best kids to come and, into the program you know and I had a chance to, to go up the day you announced coach Paulson uh, schedule permitted me when you announced him but really in, in many ways while he's not a, an alum of Holy Cross he's a great fit in terms of trying to understand the student athlete mm -hmm. and the academic tradition at the College of Holy Cross but also the athletic it's not mutually exclusive you could have success 
on the court and in the classroom. And mm -hmm. his Williams graduate coach there. He's had success in at, at high level academic schools as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's lived. He's really lived it, and, and through the process when we were having those conversations, you know, his desire to be in this kind of an environment and a, a part of a community like ours was evident from the very first phone call that we had. And so, you know, he, you know, it's it's genuine from him. Um, you know, he understands it both as a student athlete himself and as a coach. And so, you know, we're uh, we think that he's. You know, we're incredibly enthusiastic about his leadership. Our guys have taken to it, and uh, the response from on the recruiting trail has been incredibly positive as well. The team just got uh, preseason pick number four in the Patriot League, which is a, an enormous jump from a year ago. Yeah. I think we return some talent, but I think you know that was a great uh, example of the respect the coach has within the coaching fraternity and within the league people understand what he's about and the kind of quality that he brings and I think that kind of was representative of that as well right you mentioned uh, UConn and the hockey and and it's the basketball you know if people want to you know there's some great mm. uh, you know division one athletics uh, that take place here on a regular basis how, how do people T tickets, the website, you know, people want to get up to, to the, the Heart Center, uh, you know, kind of get to the, some of the football games mm -hmm. that remain, you know, how, how do you get the word out and where can people go to learn about the games and tickets? Sure, absolutely. I mean, you know, our, our website, GoHolyCross.com, is a great resource for everything, you know, Holy Cross Athletics. We have our composite schedule. You can learn about all of our different sports programs and, and games that go on. Uh, you know, we also have things like we do coffee with the Crusaders first Friday, first Thursday of every month at Fuel America down in Mercantile, and uh, and we're on there on there with some of our coaches, you know, come down and grab a cup of coffee and, and and talk to us. We'll share every opportunity that goes. We oftentimes bring some tickets with us, and so that's a great way to check things out as well. Um, you know, we have uh, home football games coming up next weekend against Lafayette on the 21st. That's our uh, our healthcare heroes games. We have promotions related to people who work in the healthcare industry. The the Georgetown game on November 18th. Yeah. That's our um, salute to service games. So we have great uh, opportunities for members of our of our uh, military community to come and, and participate in that. But just come out, you know, and, and see us. We are trying to get out in the community and provide opportunities for folks to see us kind of in on their turf. And so when people see those, you know, if they can come out or bring a friend and you kind of meet face to face and, and have conversations, start to build those relationships. I think that's the best way to go. And then. You know, of course, we have we have games constantly. So if you have interest, you know, in coming, you know, you can come go on the website, buy a ticket. But we have a lot of free events as well. We have yeah. women's ice hockey participates in Hockey East. It's one of the best right. women's hockey conferences in the country. Those games are completely free. And you know, as a, a father of four and you know, with a family of six, free entertainment or yeah. even reasonably priced yeah. entertainment is very hard to come by. Um, and women's you know, hockey, great hockey, and the fastest growing part of hockey worldwide. Right? I, absolutely, and and we have a team that just is coming off their their you know, highest win total you know in program history in hockey East. A lot of great uh, you know fresh faces in that program. Coach Lasterpel is doing a fantastic job. So I hope people come out and you know see them and take advantage of those opportunities. We have a minute left. Um, you know, one of the things that you impress, and it's in the tradition of, of Holy Cross, is the student athletes, classroom, you know, the athletic program, but also commitment to the community and being involved. Had a, I had a chance to stop by uh, the Nativity School on mm. uh, a partnership that the men and women's basketball team and the athletic department have uh, with Big Brothers Big Sisters, and mm -hmm. announced the the Bob Cousy uh, Big Brother Big uh, Big Brother Big Sister Assist Program. And That's right. Maybe your most famous alum, mm -hmm. Bob Cousy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, one of our most famous alums, also an incredible supporter of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Throughout his career, right? Whole, yeah, it, yeah. It's been so you know, part of him, and and that as an organization is something that we feel strongly about getting our young people because they're tremendous role models. Right. Uh, for these kids in our community and, and through Big Brothers Big Sisters being able to connect with these kids at the Nativity School, you know, we think that there's a, a great opportunity with that program in all ways. And that's something that we want to, you know, be a part of. Those are the kind of programs that we're looking for, the kind of partnerships we're looking for with great uh, yeah. community organizations. And then these wonderful young people who are uh, pretty special in their own right. So. Right. And College Holy Cross, the Jesuits and the alums, instrumental in starting and supporting that school and hopefully mm -hmm some good news on the horizon in terms of its expansion. Absolutely. Good so stuff. natural fit. Kit Hughes, Associate Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics at the College of the Holy Cross. Thank you, uh, and we'll have you back soon. Sounds good. Okay, Thanks, good stuff. Appreciate it. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely 
with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.